Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. So today let's talk about uh, how to configure payment terms in Odo 40. So payment terms regroup all the conditions under which a sale is completed and paid. So they can be applied to sale orders, customer invoices, supplier bills, and it is used to ensure that they will be correctly paid on time. So these conditions, uh, the conditions that can cover uh, cover the due date, some discounts, and many other conditions. So defining creating uh, payment terms automates the computation of payments due dates, both for bills and invoices. And it is useful in order to manage installment plans. So uh, so that uh, customers can pay amount as different parts. So with the amounts and payment days defined beforehand by the seller. So uh, before setting payment, that is payment term on sale order, let's go to invoicing. So we have invoicing module where we manage customer bills and invoices and here we can see under configuration in order to create and configure payment terms so we can see some some of them are pre-configured so we can create new payment terms suppose i'm creating a payment term ten percent each now balance be paid balance by 10 days then we can provide a description on the invoice and we can set this specify a company here then here we can see uh, can add multiple lines that is ter terms can be added here so the last lines combination sh type should be balanced to ensure that the, the whole amount will be allocated so you have to make sure that the last line that is we cannot uh, give the first line as balance so if you provide that uh, then error will be shown suppose i'm setting uh, percentage like you can set a due date here percentage okay it is not 10 i'm setting 50 percentage so 50 percentage now so when you try to save this you can see a warning error shown last line of a payment term should be balance type so you can just delete this and here we can set the balance okay due date 10 days after invoice date can save this so you can see number of days 10 after invoice date so 50 percentage will be paid now so after that save payment term and then let's go to our sales and create a sale order So before adding product line, let's select the payment term from here. So when you click on this, you can see the available payment terms, created payment terms. So if we search for 50, you can see 50 percentage now balanced by 20 days. So you can set that here and add the product here and then confirm. So customer have to pay 50 percentage now and remaining. 10 days so that's how we make use of payment terms in order 40 
and it is also possible to set order this payment term for your customer or vendor so in uh, our sales module we can see our customer suppose uh, for G jimny furniture i'm setting payment term here under sales and purchase tab here we can set a default payment term for this customer okay so i'm suppose i'm setting 30 percentage now 60 and balance 60 days and when you save this and if you create a quotation or sale order and uh, if you select that customer jimny furniture so here you can see automatically that payment term came that is 30 percentage now balance 60 days which is which was set inside the customer jimny furniture so in the same way we can set uh, payment terms on customer invoices like uh, suppose i'm adding product here and confirming it let me validate this and create invoice so here you can see the due date so from here if you want to change the payment term you can just change from here so this is a due date of the invoice and the same way inside a vendor bill also we can uh, change it So invoicing invoices with specific payment terms generate different journal entries with one journal item for each different due date computed. So this makes easier for uh, customer follow-ups and reconciliation since Odo takes each due date into account rather than the just balance due date. So that's all about payment terms in Odo 14.